This is a 90% efficiency furnace that is gas fired. What we're going to discuss in this video is the components and how this type of furnace operates. And we're going to take a look and fire this furnace up and see uh, the sequence of operation as we go through the, uh, the operations components of uh, this furnace. First we're going to move in closer and we're going to take a look at some of the components you will see such as the draft induced fan. This is the motor and you see uh, it is basically a shaded pole motor. It's encapsulized in plastic to protect some of the uh, components from dust and dirt and things like that. But this portion of it is the blower wheel and it moves across to this side here which is pulling air through the heat exchanger but also the secondary heat exchanger. As we move up we see that this is the gas line coming in and it moves to the gas valve. The gas valve is basically the switch or the solenoid that will allow flow uh, from gas coming in to the regulated gas pressure for the gas manifold. This gas manifold, let's take a look underneath and see what we can see. There is the orifices here and here feeding into the burners. And we see the burners which will send a flame into the, each port of the heat exchanger. I'll back out a little bit so you can see the three ports of the heat exchanger which is basically located there. A few other components, there's a lot of safety components part of this to make sure that the furnace is safe when it's operating. As we look at we have pressure controls and these pressure controls are sensing draft inside of the combustion chamber to make sure there is uh, air movement through it so to keep the uh, the flame and the heat moving through the, uh, the furnace to keep from backing up and maybe getting into the room. So if forcing it out through pipes that is located on the, ex the makeup air coming in, where we see here, and this pipe is the exhaust leaving it to go outside to vent the flue gases outdoors. So basically, Air would be pulled in into the, uh, the heat exchanger with the flame, go through the heat exchanger, and get pulled through the secondary heat exchanger in this collector box. This plastic black component, whole assembly would be the collector box. So when the draft fan turns on, it will pull the air from up here at the top, go through the heat exchanger, circulate through, then come out and get vented out through the PVC piping to outdoors. Now these pressure controls just make sure that there's draft both negative pressure and positive pressure from the blower uh, to make sure that there's no blockage or issues with any of the uh, pipes coming in and outside of the system. So other components is when it's calling for a thermostat the very first thing that will be energized is the draft motor to prove that there's air movement through the, uh, the furnace, through the combustion chamber. And once it proves through a purge cycle, it will energize one of these uh, or both these uh, pressure controls. And once that is proven by closing by airflow through, it will go through the circuitry. And next it will go through the ignition cycle. We'll see that in a minute where we see the hot surface and niter, it will glow and it will uh, cause the, 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 um, the igniter to become uh, energized, glow, to heat up the flame. Then it will send gas from the burners into the combustion chamber. The hot surface igniter will ignite the gas and within a few seconds from that point, we have a flame sensor which will prove that there's actual flame uh, at the burners. And if there's no flame, it will de-energize the gas circuit. So we're going to try it to show you what happens if there's uh, through a sequence. So we're going to back out to see, you see the draft motor is starting. 
go through a purge cycle, and the next thing you will see is the hot surface of nitre to glow. It takes about 20 to 25 seconds. Just kicked in, starting to glow. And once, about 15 seconds later, it will energize the gas valve and the furnace will light. All three burners will ignite at the same time and will continue to go until the system is proven by the wall thermostat that has reached the correct temperature in the room. That is the sequence of operation and the components of a high efficiency 90% furnace.